what I have here is my uh, Generac generator. Um, I get this thing out every month and I run it to exercise it. And uh, while I was doing that, I decided to make a video about my transfer switch. The reason I purchased this generator is we had a power outage the last couple days and and it was in the middle of the winter and everything got cold and I wanted to be able to power my house the next time the power went out for a long time. I also want to make it as simple as possible for my wife to be able to do because if I was at work. So I decided to go with a transfer switch and basically the way this would work is she would wheel this generator out. It's just right inside this door. She would roll it out. She'd have to get it started, which I believe that'll be her most difficult part is her having to pull the cord on this. Then she'd be able to plug in the cord from the 220 volt twist lock plug and then basically come over to here and she would plug it into the house. Then after she did that, the only thing she'd have to do would be go inside and to flip the transfer switch over to the alternative source and she'd have power on a few rooms. So I think that would be pretty simple about as simple as I can make it for her unless I got I spent a lot of money and bought an automatic starting generator but I got that kind of dough so let's go inside and we'll look and see what the uh, transfer switch looks like well here is my transfer switch this, I think this is a pretty simple transfer switch basically this is a square D panel and it's basically a sub panel um, and you would feed it from your main panel to be able to add additional breakers more or less so you would uh, first you're going to have a circuit that comes over here to feed this panel and uh, that circuit would be this main breaker on the left hand side these two breakers are fixed and they're really not removable it's made so you can't take them out uh, one is for your main power like we were just talking about and the other one is for your generator supply now uh, it also holds four breakers for you to uh, wire up any circuits that you would like to power up through this panel. Um, the way this works is when your power goes out, all your circuits in your house would go dead. You would supply power through your generator to here and then when you turn this switch on, it would turn off your other switch and prevent you from back feeding your panel and thus back feeding the, uh, the power lines, just like a transfer switch should work. When uh, designing this setup, I, des I was trying to pick circuits that I thought were the, the most needed. So, uh, first one that I wanted to use was probably the kitchen so that my food wouldn't go bad and that I would have lights and so that I could plug stuff into the countertop. And then another one would have been, uh, I got a wall out here in the garage with my furnace on it so I could keep my house warm in the winter because if we lose power, most of the time it's going to be in the winter where I live <clears throat> and it also has my deep freeze on it so it would keep my food from going bad in my freezer now the other two circuits that I have in here is we we wanted the bathroom so we could have lights so that we could get ready and take care of our business in the bathroom and then our other one was the microwave my microwave's on a separate circuit so we added the microwave so that we could be able to microwave food if we didn't have power. I have tested this system. I've ran the generator running the all the lights on those rooms and having the refrigerator compressor, freezer compressor, furnace running at the same time. Everything ran fine. I could tell the difference when I did run the microwave it would make the lights kind of uh, shimmer a little bit. So kind of maybe kind of pushing it when everything's running but I I, I tried to max out the system, but it seemed to work fine. One thing I, I love about the system is when your normal power comes back on, you're gonna you're gonna know it instantly, because all your uh, other circuits in the house, your bedrooms, your dining rooms, your living rooms, your utility rooms, they're all gonna come back on. So you're gonna know it instantly. You know, you could probably you probably wait wait a few minutes and uh, make sure your power is gonna stay on. Uh, but then when you want to switch it back, you can just go in here and you can flip your normal power back on. It'll turn your generator source off. All your circuits in your house are now on normal power. And you just go back outside and uh, turn your generator off. 
and then you can unplug it and bring it in. Overall, I'm happy with the setup. Uh, I think the panel on the inside was less than a hundred dollars, and I had to had to buy this this plug in here for the outside of the house and make a cord, and then just wire it up. I already had breakers that fit that style of panel, uh, the transfer switch panel, since I had square D breakers. But uh, overall, I'm satisfied with the way it works and uh, how. Uh, little effort it takes to get the power back onto the house when the power goes out. Thanks for watching.